these. I'm going to start off with doing your cards. So for Aquarius, the current situation is happiness. This is Nine of Cups. This is a beautiful card to, to be where you're at. This shows satisfaction. It shows uh, wishes fulfilled. This is the wish fulfillment card. It means feeling happy and fulfilled emotionally. So it's a great card to just be, you know, happy with where you're at in things. It shows that you're maybe feeling fulfilled, feeling satisfied, or that your wishes are coming true in some way, or that they may be happening very soon for you. Um, great card of just satisfaction and, and feeling good, feeling happy, feeling like all your cups are full. One warning with this card is be careful to not let things go into excess, like overdoing it in terms of food or drink or sometimes this card can be being smug, but that's usually the low side of this card and that's usually when it's in reverse. So I'm just really reading this as really positive, um, really happy-go-lucky, feeling good about things. Allow everything in because that's where you're at. That's what the influences are for this month. Good things happening, Aquarius. What's in the shadow is maybe someone from the past. This is Six of Cups, which is, um, it's a card about reunion, childhood, naivete, uh, meeting up with someone that you've known since childhood potentially or that you've known before, before perhaps a past lover. Um, that's someone that you're not seeing though right now. This is below your state of consciousness and the fact that it's in reverse says that you're not seeing someone from the past, um, that they may be in the picture or around you, but you're not necessarily seeing that. In the reverse, too, sometimes it can be that there's cynicism present. In the upright, it's about innocence and warmth and sharing your heart. But in the reverse, it can be that there's a cynical attitude or feeling jaded or world-weary. So that could be something that is representing you or someone around you, but it's not something that you're noticing. So if that may need to come to your attention um, or, or look around to see that there may be someone from your past around you because that's not that's not at the surface right now. What's passing away is emperor, which is the need for order or control. It may be for some of you that someone um, who was in an authority position or was an elder family member is passing out of your life or has less influence. So you may be getting released from some kind of domineering, controlling um, influence or authority. But it could also just be that, that you're being released from overly strictured uh, situations or scenarios. And you, you Aquarians like that. You like freedom and to go explore things, especially in terms of the mind. Um, freedom is a big word for you Aquarians. So it looks like you may be coming into more freedom. That may be what's causing your happiness as this controlled, strictured, ordered, regimented um, vibe is passing away. What's coming in is nine of coins in reverse. So this is telling me that some of you may start feeling like you no longer want to be single if you aren't, if you are already. Um, nine of coins is usually someone who's single and lives a lavish lifestyle and has reaped the rewards of their discipline. They they're good savers. They've done a lot to get themselves to the place that they're at. But usually it means being very self-satisfied. So when this is in the reverse, it says not being satisfied on your own, not being satisfied with, you know, you may be in a place where you're happy um, with how things are, but this sometimes says that you may be dissatisfied with being single coming up, if you are. If you are in relationship, it can mean that you're not, what's coming up is that you're not feeling like you're sitting pretty or that you're not feeling like you're reaping the rewards of your efforts, that it's not, um, you're not there yet perhaps and not enjoying the luxuries that you'd like to be enjoying. For the highlight, we have six of wands in reverse. Now this is the card of triumph and success and being recognized for who you are and your capabilities um, and sort of being recognized as the person who saves the day or is the hero and comes riding in on the white horse. With this in reverse, it says that you may be feeling overlooked or that you're not in the game, that you're not the victor, that you're not experiencing triumph 
I see happiness and emotional satisfaction, but there's maybe a way in which you're feeling like you're being passed over or not seen for who you really are. So let's see who, let's see what's going on for who is involved in the situation or who you might be considering the other person. Mostly I'm seeing with these two nines here, there's something that is about to complete. It's not quite completed yet, but there's something that you may be releasing Aquarius. Um, but mostly I see you in a good space for February. I see you getting released from strictures, feeling happy about being free, but then maybe not wanting to be single um, and not feeling like seen necessarily for who you are, not, not being um, cherished or treasured or regarded in a way that recognizes your status. So let's see what's up for the other person. We've got fool in reverse as the current situation for them. Jack of Wands or Knight of Wands in the shadow position. For passing away, we have Ten of Coins in reverse. Approaching is Moon. It's a nice card for that position. And then for highlight, we have Queen of Coins. So for this other person, um, they may not be feeling as carefree as you are. I get the sense that you are experiencing some freedom or some satisfaction or you have that available to you. But this other person may be having fears, doubts, or resistance about starting off on a brand new adventure. The Fool is usually about being carefree, being open to life. You know, I see this, when I see this card, I often think of Aquarius or Sagittarius where they're willing to go out and try new things, going out and exploring. Um, they kind of just have this happy-go-lucky faith in the universe that whenever they jump, the life is going to catch them. So this other person is not feeling that. They may be feeling fear, doubt, or restriction about starting something new. They may be cautious is the word that I'm getting here. So I just kind of see them in a cautious uh, frame of mind. And that's that's doubly emphasized with this queen of coins in the highlight position because this is a very stable, reliable, um, practical card. So I'm seeing them as being cautious and practical. What they're What is coming in for them is that they're trying to evaluate their emotions. They're trying to assess what is real and permanent versus what is changeable. This is a card about allowing up feelings to be assessed uh, in accordance with our logical, rational mind versus our irrational, passionate, creative, right brain, side, right side of our brain. So it's sort of like left brain versus right brain and trying to figure out balance between those two. What, what's real? What's not real? What is um, balanced? What will take me forward? And what can I count on? Because moon is about illusion and fantasy versus reality. The moon's light is not really um, its own light. It's the reflection of the light of the sun. So it changes all the time. And this person could have changing feelings coming up and they could be trying to assess what do I really feel? What's constant? What's real? That's what the incoming influence is for them. What's passing away for them is a feeling of stability and security. Um, this is Ten of Coins. So Ten of Coins has to do with security, stability, domestic bliss, feeling financially on top of things. It's a possibility because it's in reverse that they may have had some financial instability, but I see them also coming out of that um, because they show up as, as queen of coins eventually. So they, I think that what's going on with them is that they're working on feeling stable and secure and that's why they're being cautious and they're just kind of like trying to, uh, I'm getting stay low to the ground while they assess how they feel. What's in the shadows is that they're really passionate about something. They really want to go forward. They really have this cavalier, um, fiery energy that's passionate and cocky and arrogant, or well, arrogant on the, on the low side. It's not. It's actually showing up very positive here. So I'll say more like daring. You know, being being courageous is a big word for this card. And so what's happening under the surface is that. 
they may be very attracted to someone, very passionate and fiery, but they're not showing it. It's not, it's what's unknown, even maybe to them. They may want to be in denial of how they feel. And this energy, by the way, shows someone who comes in and goes out quickly. So they're not really someone that can be trusted. I get a sense that there may be, they may not even be trusting their own emotions, that they're concerned about being going in and coming out very quickly, and they're trying to like be cautious. So they may have fears about things happening very fast and burning the candle at both ends and it burns itself out quickly. That's what's in the shadow and unknown position for this other person. But I see them being like taking very careful steps. And what's coming in is this assessment. You, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces that they're all trying to allow their emotions to stabilize is what I'm really getting. They're trying to stabilize because that's what this is saying to me and also this Queen of Coins. Especially they're trying to stabilize in terms of their logistics, like their domestic life, like having all the bills paid on time having all their finances in order, having their job situated. They may have had a, a shakeup where they left a job and that's why they don't feel like they can be that carefree. They're a little bit nervous or cautious right now. So that's kind of important to them right now. And they, even if they have this deep, fiery, passionate energy under the surface, they're trying to take uh, assured steps right now while they assess how they feel. And for you, I'm seeing that the best thing that you can do this month is enjoy some of this freedom as this um, emperor energy leaves and you get a little bit more breathing room, feeling satisfied, feeling like, um, you know, this is a sensually satisfied card too. So there may be something that you're completing or about to complete. And if you can remove whatever fear, doubt, or resistance you have to being alone, you may get a lot of success with that. These two are going together right now. This is incoming energy for you. So if you can say, you know what, actually I am sitting pretty. Look at me up on this horse. You may have a lot of success and triumph, but if you if you cast that in the light of any doubt, that may be why you're not showing up and being seen for who you are. So I'm going to say let your um, radiant, you know, self-assured, um, the fact that you are in, sitting in a kind of a good position, let that shine. Don't doubt that because that's how you get recognition. That's how you are seen by others. 